Hmm? Oh yes. Oh, hi, hello. Hi. <laughs> hi. They were trying to like hook me up with their friend who I've never seen before and who wasn't at the airport, who doesn't even work at the airport. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Yomi. This summer I'm studying abroad in South Korea and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you me traveling all the way from Orlando to South Korea and all of the journeys in between. So I'm in the airport right now, going from Orlando to Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, from North Carolina, I then go to JFK. From JFK, JFK is in New York. From New York, I go to Vancouver. Canada and from Canada I go to Manila, Philippines. From Philippines I go to South Korea. So I'm super excited. I'll be traveling for over 24 hours, lots of layovers. So, so these are the two sketchbooks that I want to use on my trip. This one is made out of bristol board. This one is made out of thinner like drawing sketching paper. So this one I'll use on like the airplanes and the airports and anywhere else I go besides Korea. And this one I plan to use exclusively in Korea and for nicer drawings. Sundao, that's my Korean name, which my friend and I came up with. And that's how it's written in Korean characters. And so I am super excited. So I did these ones in the airport. Underneath the seat in front of you. And this one I showed the guy and his son that I drew them because they picked up on the fact that I was drawing them and it was actually pretty interesting because um, we started a conversation together and had a good conversation so I like this. I like how this is less detailed than this. So. We landed. I'm still wearing this so I'm in the North Carolina airport so on to JFK in New York next. So I've done some more sketching. So I did this one on the airplane. It's like you have to like unlock this and you can put you lay it down as like the tray table. I did this one. This is in the North Carolina airport, which is when I where I'm in right now. And then this is just like looking out the window at um, the planes. Which are Philippines. Philippines airline is where I'd be going. So I'm in New York right now. Um, I'm about to get on the Philippines airline to go to Canada. I'll be in Vancouver for an hour. We can't get off the plane. And then from Vancouver, I'm going to South Korea. I was scared my COVID test wasn't going to come in. I took it like over 24 hours ago. But the way that I scheduled it with the time, it looked like I may not be able to make my flight because my COVID test would not come in. Um, like within 48 hours of leaving the US, it takes like up to 48 hours or even sometimes more than 40 hours for the test to come back so it doesn't even really make sense so i was running to different terminals on the train like in new york like in the jfk new york airport to try and get a test and i finally found a place that closed at 11. i got there at 10:47. they said the last tests that they do are at 10:30. so i was too late so i was so upset like okay i'm not gonna make it to my flight which i paid two thousand dollars for and then guess what literally right when i was getting in the car and getting like annoyed my test i looked at my phone and it said my test came back so, I'm going to the Philippines right now. I was able to see my mom, my sister, and my aunt right now because they're in New York right now. And they stopped by to say hi and to help me like with my luggage and go to the terminal and like get everything situated. And they brought me a pork chop sandwich, so I'm going to eat that Good now. Morning, so this is a sandwich. It's huge. So on the flight to the Philippines, um, came with a blanket. And... Uh, these are headphones, but you have to return them back. There are three rows, so it's not like the casual two rows like when you're usually on a flight. Oh, the baby's so cute. So the question is, should I watch movies or should I go to sleep? It's 1.27 in the morning, the flight is 5 hours and 25 minutes. We land in Canada, stay on the plane for an hour, and we don't, we're not allowed to leave the plane. And then we go from Canada to the Philippines, which is also a long flight. I don't know how long. Passengers, please take your assigned seats with your seatbelts fastened. Ensure your cell phones are in airplane mode. Thank you. So I'm watching Fresh Off the Boat for the first time. So we're in Vancouver now, we're not allowed to get off the plane. I'm watching a Pinoy film, which is my first like, Filipino film, and it's pretty good. Um, 
pretty interesting. Tell them all means thank you. So flying from Vancouver. My quest for So this is the food that they have. I ordered beef. You could get beef or chicken. Um, it's like a stew. Yeah, it's like a stew. And then bread. Oh yeah, that's true. You can ask for more. This is quinoa with raisins. Yeah, like, but very, very salty. Where are those beans? Yeah, it's salty apparently. Um, and this is vanilla yogurt. So I don't know. Vanilla yogurt. Oh really? Like pudding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's vanilla pudding. It's pudding. So the food wasn't very good. The meat was very hard. The quinoa was very salty. The bread was hard. The yogurt, I mean the pudding was sweet, which was expected, so it's pudding. Um, I was expecting like nice food since it's a long flight. So I think that was lunch. Hopefully for dinner it will be better. Um, so this is chicken afridada. Chicken afridada. Uh, I ordered it because I didn't like the last one and I wanted to try this. So this is Filipina. The last one wasn't. So let's see how it tastes. It's better. Huh? It's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's still dry though. <laughs> so I just finished watching the movie. And it's super sad, like, wow. Uh, such a sad film, and it had like a weird plot twist at the end. different than what I would have imagined. Wow. It's crazy seeing the island of Luzon, which I've learned so much about but I've never seen in person. So we're at Ninoy Aquino International Airport. So crazy. Passengers may claim their luggage at parcel number nine. Passengers. Oh, so this is my first time in Asia. Southeast Asia. Second time in another country. I'm not counting Vancouver since we weren't allowed to get off the plane. It's so tropical outside. I don't know why everyone's wearing like hazmat suits or whatever. I'm gonna buy souvenirs, so. Um, so I asked the flight attendant why everyone's wearing hazmat suits, and she said because like they're Chinese, and I know China is very strict with the quarantining procedures. So um, that's why. I'm gonna go buy souvenirs and like go get some food, Filipino food. So I'm at a Filipino gift shop. Alien treasures and accessories. A lot of food and Filipino souvenirs from the store. Oh, you wanna say hi? It's for YouTube. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hmm? Oh, yes. Oh, hi, Hi. And they gave me pesos, which is Filipino money, for change back. It's very pretty. <laughs> yeah. So this is the money I got. It was exchanged for me. Got next to uh, like two very nice Filipino ladies. Filipino ladies on the flight. Um, one on my left, one on my right. There's maybe around like 400 or 500 people on my flight. It was packed. Almost everyone there was Filipino, except maybe like six people, including me. There was like five white people, and then like there was like three, two other black people on the flight. Um, I watched Spider-Man No Way Home again. I watched Justice League, not the, the first Justice League movie. Um, I watched five episodes of Fresh Off the Boat, two episodes of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and then I watched some of a Tom Holland movie. It was really weird, and it had Daisy Ridley in it, and I didn't, didn't really like it. I fell asleep on it. 
Went, the flight was 22 hours. Um, the first flight was like five hours, and then we stopped in Vancouver for an hour. I was going through like the TSA check, basically what we have in the US, but in the Philippines. And since I was doing international travel, I was the only one there. There was no one else there. And people were so funny. They're like, where are you from? Like, what's your nationality? Like, do you have Filipino friends? And I'm like, no, I don't have Filipino friends. I have some in the US, but I thought they meant like, do I have Filipino friends in the Philippines? I'm like, no, I don't have any Filipino friends. And they're like, oh. Oh, do you want a Pinoy girlfriend? Which Pinoy is slang for Filipino? And I'm like, uh, sure, why not? And they're like, oh, my friend, like his female friend wants a boyfriend. Like, do you want a Pinoy girlfriend? And they were trying to like hook me up with their friend who I've never seen before and who wasn't at the airport, who doesn't even work at the airport. And yeah, they're being so funny. They're like, what's your nationality? I'm like, I'm Nigerian, like American. So I picked up on some Tagalog while watching up the Pinoy film and there are a couple of cognates in Spanish in Tagalog with Importante, Guapo, Pastura. Um, I've been studying the island of Luzon and um, different cultures in the island of Luzon for like months now. So for you to tell me that I would be in the Philippines right now on the island of Luzon like is absolutely insane. Like it's crazy. Like obviously I'm nowhere near where these cultures are in this island. But like so just the fact that I'm here is just so amazing. Philippine Airlines boarding the flight to Seoul, South Korea. Super excited. The plane is a lot smaller. Cityscape. I think that's a cityscape. Airport in Korea. Just arrived. It is 7:15. Arrived a little early. In Korea. We're in the parking garage. Yo, Itaewon. Itaewon area. Itaewon? Itaewon. Itaewon. Mm. Itaewon. Mm. In Seoul. So this is the hostel I'll be staying in that I've only seen pictures of. I was freaking out. I didn't know where my camera was, but it turns out I left it in my bag. So... <laughs> shoot. <laughs> um, so apparently it's like a Korean culture thing where you take your shoes off, which I did not know. Um, but they have like this hanbok clothing at this hostel which a hostel is basically like a hotel but it's less expensive less fancy so for me to stay here i think it's like 180 dollars in total for like eight nights um so the rooms like do kind of smell a little bit and the downstairs too but like i have access to laundry and free breakfast the breakfast is very simple like ramen and toast and things of that nature but yeah you can get hanbok clothing um, downstairs like to wear and take pictures which is pretty cool so that's exciting can't wait to try that it's like a huge hill I feel like I'm in like some type of I don't know this kind of reminds me a lot of Japan and like I'm in an anime film which I don't mean that in a disrespectful way because I know this is Korea <laughs> um, but well so this is a convenience store I'm talking about I'm gonna buy like a little something to eat because I'm hungry and I'm going to bed. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be making many more videos on Korea, so stay tuned.